I will be teaching how to use a tile mesh. Begin by selecting the block tool and creating a new 8x8 mesh. Go to face mode and delete every face except the top. Now go to mesh mode and press Ctrl Shift I to turn the mesh into a tile mesh. Switch one of your panels to object properties mode. Go to tile set file 0 and click the browse icon. Search for pipe. Select pipe 018 tile set. This indicates that this tile set is 8 units wide. Go to edge mode, hold shift and extrude an edge to create a new section of the pipe. Pipes can be extended but not widened. You would need to use a different tile set for this. If you extrude a new segment by 8 units and then select a different edge to extrude, you can create a curve in the pipe. If you then extrude another edge on the curve, you will create a T-junction. Extrude a segment of pipe by 8 units, then extrude again upwards by 8 units to create a small upwards curve. You can also create curves with sizes of 16 and 32 units. Go to face mode, select a segment of the pipe, right click and go to tile properties. Here you can set the visual style of the tile. With pipes you can set them to different detail levels or give them an end cap. With some tile sets, such as the ceiling tiles, you can deform the mesh slightly without the model disappearing. It's important to note that the tile meshes require your basic mesh to match the tile set's dimensions. So if a tile mesh is limited to 32 by 32, it will only work when assigned to faces that are 32 by 32. Now you know how to use tile meshes, which can also be used to create vents, metal frames, walkways and much more.